Ever wonder why jet flames have glowing diamonds? I'm an aerospace engineer and those are shock diamonds. Pressure correction zones that appear whenever supersonic exhaust exits at a different pressure than the air around it. Think of a driver who yanks the wheel too hard right, then overcorrects left, weaving until the car finally rides straight. The exhaust does the same but with compression and expansion. Near sea level, the exhaust pressure is typically lower than the outside air, so the atmosphere compresses it inward through angled shock waves. That's the first hard steer and it raises both pressure and temperature. The converging shocks meet on the center line and merge into a flat normal shock called a mock disc. The temperature spike there ignites residual fuel in the exhaust, lighting the first diamond. But now the exhaust pressure is too high, so the exhaust expands again through an expansion fan to lower it. But that expansion overshoots and the exhaust becomes under pressure. So compression waves regroup, form more angled shocks, create another mock disc, and the cycle repeats, stacking diamonds downstream. If friction and viscous mixing didn't bleed energy away, the diamonds would stretch on forever. But in the real world, the pattern fades and pressures eventually equalize.